Put HMR 12 millimeters. Measure and mark, then drill using drill bit 6 millimeters and 8 millimeters. After that, make slot using router blade 4 millimeters. Then cut using table saw and miter saw. I put pan head bolt M6, but it doesn't fit. I will give countersink. Now all is fitted and flat. I put HMR 15 millimeters. Mark HMR and cut using table saw. Measure and mark HMR and cut using miter saw. Mark HMR for make slot. Mark HMR cuts before, then drill using drill bit 6 millimeters. Measure and mark HMR, then cut the edge with angle 30 degrees. HMR 15 millimeters. Measure and mark, then cut using table saw. I put aluminum bar. Use aluminum bar as a template. Then make a slot on the HMR. Check the slot, make sure all fitted. Mark aluminum, then cut two pieces. Use paper tape to put it together as one. Then, drill using drill bit 4 millimeters and give countersink. 
I give double tape on the aluminum. Place aluminum on the base, make sure the position is right. After that, drill and screw aluminum on the base. Measure and mark, then drill using drill bit 6 mm. Make slot on the slider. I put bolt M6 and want make it flat. Drill using drill bit 10 millimeters, then fasten bolt M6. Measure and mark slider. Then cut using miter saw. I put shelves Dynabolt. The drill slider using drill bit 10 millimeters. Cut shelves Dynabolt, then assemble it on the slider using epoxy glue. I put bearing, then assemble it on the slider. I put HMR 18 millimeters. Mark and cut using table saw and miter saw. Measure and mark HMR. I will add bearing. Drill HMR using first net 18 millimeters. Put bearing into the hole made before. Clamp HMR then drill using drill bit 6 millimeters. Insert into the hole made before. Then, assemble all parts.
I put digital depth gauge. Cut the edge. I put small HMR cuts. Place digital depth gauge on the base. Assemble small HMR cuts on slider using super glue. Put foam double tape. Place digital depth gauge on the base, then assemble with the slider. I test it and it worked properly. Install jig on the table saw. Make sure bearing attach the blade. Then, lock the position. Turn on the digital depth gauge, always press zero button. I set up jig with size 3 millimeters. Then fasten slider. I use rosewood. Make sure the wood attached the bearing on the jig. Then cut it. The result looks clean and perfect precision. Now I set up the jig with size 5 millimeters. The result looks clean and very precision.